Why would governments allow this? Yeah, so that gets to the question of will it be banned? Uh, by the way, it can't be hacked for what I said. It can't be copied because you got to come up with the same $10 billion right, worth right. of energy and special purpose hardware. And if you had that much energy and hardware, you'd be getting paid $10 billion a year to use it to protect Bitcoin or you pay, get paid zero to try to copy it. So, right. so it doesn't make any sense to try to copy it. It's, it's like the dominant monetary network like Google and Facebook are also dominant networks. Once you get to that dominant position, it, it's obscenely difficult. Coming back to the banning, um, there's, a, there's a kind of misnomer. People often call a cryptocurrencies currencies. But it's not a currency, it's an asset. It's a crypto asset. So you're right, Tucker. If the government thought it was a currency and if it competed with the U.S. dollar or other currencies, then they would take offense and they will suppress it. But on the other hand, if it's viewed as an asset which competes with gold or with index funds or with bonds or property or real estate, just a store of value or silver, then... You know, you can hold SP, uh, s and index funds and bonds, and you can own land, and you can own property. The government would simply like you to disclose when you sell it to someone else at a profit and pay your taxes on it, uh, capital gains tax. And if you wanted to wire $100 million worth of property to someone else, they probably want you to disclose that per the AML, KYC, you know, anti-money laundering. Can it be owned anonymously? It, it, it can be owned anonymously, except as a practical matter, if you want to acquire large sums of it, you have to acquire them on registered exchanges. So you'd be going to an institutional grade custodian, which is licensed. So what you see, maybe uh, you get to a very important point. The government is regulated where, where it is allowed, and it's allowed everywhere except there's some, there's some noise in China. China is a different situation. In the Western world, the regulations are you can hold this as long as you uh, disclose it via a regulated entity, so you're buying it through, uh, through a registered exchange, and then when you transfer it, you're subject to IRS tax. That's actually uh, the primary... Uh, the primary issues before Congress and the Senate right now, right? Treasury, if you look at the past week, the Treasury, the SEC, the CFTC, Congress and the Senate are engaged in a, in a uh, enthusiastic dialogue about what kind of reg uh, regulations will be applied to the transfer and, uh, and to the utilization of crypto assets.